The launch of Gochi, ESA's mission to map the Earth's gravity field. You saw it disappearing into the skies of northern Russia from the Plasek Cosmodrome. You can now see the control room here at the European Space Operations Centre, ESOC, at Darmstadt in Germany. The flight director in the foreground. They were everyone in the control room, obviously, watching the screens to see what was, what was happening. Mark, talk us through what's going on at the moment. Is everything nominal? Uh, yes, I'm just looking at telemetry. I haven't got all of it yet, but um, it was a nice liftoff. Uh, we're just to wait for confirmation. I'm looking at the screen, but it's the first stage uh, main engine burn, and we have uh, another few seconds of that. It's quite disconcerting that the launch itself is a few seconds after the end of the countdown. Yes, because um, what it does, it goes to what they call an internal gyro setting. Uh, so that's a Russian tradition. It starts 14 seconds after that. So we're just waiting for the first stage separation. Exactly, yep. And this uh, means on this uh, telemetry we're looking at now that um, we're getting telemetry, real telemetry from from the launch vehicle. Yes, we are, yeah. And if you look at the screen, you'll see two in the bottom right-hand corner, two dots, one that says uh, reception, one says animation only. When the green light is on, that means we're getting real telemetry from the launch vehicle. Exactly. I'm waiting now for the confirmation of first stage separation. I haven't got it yet, but I'm sure that will come shortly. That should have happened. The trajectory looks fine from the telemetry. And we're three minutes after launch. We've had the first stage separation. The payload fairing is jettisoned according to the telemetry confirmation. It's a green. So we look at the launch vehicle now. It's burning on the second stage. Correct, yes. And the top part you can see is the breeze which is the third stage, and then right at the top, the Gochi satellite itself. Now exposed, the fairing has been released. Exactly, yes. It's an altitude of about 150 kilometers, so it is now in space, but still needs the orbital velocity to be achieved. So essentially, at the moment, it is on a, a ballistic trajectory, and it needs that extra push to get, in, get into orbit. It needs an extra push. Ballistic it isn't because it's still powered, but yes, it still needs a bit of extra push uh, to get it into orbit. Which way is it going? Where, where is it heading at the moment? If you look at the top of the Earth, downwards, basically it's flying to the left of the North Pole, um, towards uh, Greenland, Canada, and then over the Pacific Ocean. So it will take a long time for it to come back over Europe. So waiting for the next major event, which is the second stage separation. You can see everyone in the control room, obviously very tense. There's very little anyone in the control room can do at this stage. Correct. It's all automatic now. OK, the commanders should have gone to the second stage. You can see the telemetry is indicating now that uh, it's separated. We're still waiting for confirmation. So we're just waiting for confirmation that there has been a separation of the of the second stage. And we should, if everything is nominal, be on the, the final breeze stage now. Exactly. 
and then it will leave the um, visibility zone. It'll fly over the horizon, and we won't see it for a, for a, about an hour or so. Yes, we're expecting to lose radio visibility around now, or very shortly. Yeah.